driving in the country on a desolate dirt road out here going to a, someone's house that says they have a nest of snakes. We get all kind of calls about people who say they have a nest of snakes. They see one snake and think they have a nest of snakes. Snakes don't build a nest. At least the ones here in Georgia don't. And, uh, you know, yeah, they'll have babies and maybe we'll find some babies. But I seriously, seriously doubt it. People see one snake and they just kind of freak out thinking, oh, there's one, there's got to be 20 of them. So, and, and then whatever snake they saw, instead of trying to identify the snake, they automatically assume it, it's the worst. It's, it's a rattlesnake or copperhead or a cottonmouth or whatever. And so uh, I don't know that we'll find a snake. And I don't think we'll find a nest of snakes. And if we do find a nest of snakes, I think that'll make my day pretty good. And it's already pretty good because I'm out here in the country on this beautiful dirt road. I don't care that I just washed the van. I don't care that I took a long time scrubbing the van, getting it clean, doing the tires. And then as soon as I got done, it didn't even dry off yet. I get a call to come down a very, very long very, very long, very dusty because we've had no rain. Very dusty dirt road. Doesn't bother me a bit. I'm glad to be out here. So, uh, yep, that's what we're doing. And uh, we're going to see if we catch a snake or two. Now what I need to do is I'm going to actually look through this grass, this tall grass here, and just see if there's anything hiding here. And the important thing is, is being able to make sure you see where your foot's stepping before your foot steps there. And not only that, but around where you're stepping, because if there's a rattlesnake, you know, two foot off to the side of me, and I don't see that, that can be a really, really bad thing. So far, I haven't seen any snakes, but as tall as this grass is, I could have easily overlooked several of them. This is just a perfect, perfect hiding place for rodents, and then that brings in snakes. Nothing inside here either. I think it's time to take a look out back. If I was a snake, I think this is where I'd want to live. Oh yeah, I see them. I see them. Right there at the back of the shed, right in the center of the screen, there's a whole bunch of snakes. And yep, those are rattlesnakes. I don't even know how many snakes this is. This is a lot of rattlesnakes and they're starting to move. So we're gonna jump in here and see if we how many we can get. I don't know that we can get all these things. Because they are moving already. And here they go. I'm using these tongs. It's just an easy way to grab them. Trying to get them in here quick before they just disappear underneath the shed here. 
And we've got a lot of them we just missed. And trying my best not to step on them as I'm doing this. This grass, <laughs> this grass is tall, and there's probably rattlesnakes right here around where I'm standing. So it's just a matter of watching my step and not getting too close to the edge of this barn in case Mama's there, because I don't want to be in the strike range of her. But I don't want to step on rattlesnakes. <laughs> Man, all these things just took off and went everywhere just now. These snakes blend in so well. So, before I kneel down here, just trying to make sure I'm not on top of one. And that, uh, <laughs> you know, just because I clear this area, doesn't mean in a few minutes one couldn't come crawling out from somewhere else. But the only way to look under here <laughs> is to get down and look under here. That's it. Oh, well, can we see? Okay, I see some. Don't know if I can reach it. There's a bunch of gravel and rock under there, and they kind of disappeared back up into it. These snakes are just a few days old because they're still together. Oh, that's an ant. Ants, ants, ants. Hey, ants. Uh, okay, we're clear here. So I'm going to try to look under the edge here and before the ants <laughs> get to me. I'm looking for mama. Where's the mama snake? He said he saw the mama snake. So, she could be right here. She could be under here. She could be a half mile away. We don't know. All right. So here's what we've caught so far. I don't know that I can count all these because they're moving pretty good. But these are juvenile timber rattlesnakes. Let's see, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Uh, I'm guessing a dozen here. And I probably missed seven or eight more of them. So there were probably about 20 rattlesnakes when I when I walked over here just now. And now they're all under the shed and I can't get to them. So uh, a couple of these are just gorgeous, gorgeous snakes. I know when the mama is for sure. I know that thing's she's on. How big was the mama? Twelve inches. Like, uh, no, not twelve inches. Like she almost as big foot, as me. Like, well, she stretched wow. out. She was made to that post right there. Right. Wow. Yeah, she was. I know she's still under there. Pretty wild snakes though. Yeah, you want to carry them to the van? Creepy, uh, creepy eyes. Up. You got creepy eyes. My wife's on. Look at me, huh? Look at me, huh? Oh, creepy eyes, me. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We just caught 14 timber rattlesnakes. Now, <laughs> here's the problem. We caught 14 timber rattlesnakes. So the question is, what am I going to do? <laughs> with 14 timber rattlesnakes um, and the answer is well I have no idea <laughs> you know 
the problem with going out and catching a rattlesnake like this is timber rattlesnakes in particular don't do very well being relocated and unless we can relocate these rattlesnakes somewhere nearby this general area not right here near his yard of course he's got kids here so we don't want to do that to him but uh you know if we don't relocate these somewhere nearby and we take them a long way from here chance of them surviving is not really really great and um now we can keep some of these in captivity and use them for education get them eating and uh use them for education and maybe give some out to some other educators that type of thing and that may be what we have to do because i don't know that we're going to get very many property owners in this area to say oh yeah timber rattlesnakes drop them off in my backyard so uh most people we encounter don't want us to do that we do have some people that do want us to do that but whatever we do with them we'll make sure that they are safe and that they have a very good chance of survival so yeah i was wrong <laughs> we found uh i guess the closest thing to what you would call a nest of snakes so you know what i'm guessing is this this rattlesnake she gave birth and um these babies will kind of hang around the same area for several days uh maybe a week or so and typically when they're about a week old they shed their skin for the first time and uh, that's when they kind of go on the hunt and start looking for their first meal so i did notice at the back of this shed on the ground at least one snake skin and a couple of these little babies that we got you can tell they definitely have already shed their skin most of these have not but we caught 14 rattlesnakes and I guarantee you at least a half dozen more of them got away from us under that shed and there was just no way to get to that shed I don't know if you can see it in the video but it had a it was a concrete slab down there and part of the concrete slab underneath it had kind of washed away so there was a hole underneath the slab so even if we were to tear this whole building down there was not really any getting to those snakes to remove them for this homeowner and so the most effective thing he's going to do is cut the grass and remove trash and debris that kind of stuff and as you eliminate hiding places for these snakes that'll kind of make them want to go somewhere else but as long as there's plenty of now look at these deer running across the road in front of me good gosh okay <laughs> sorry about that so as long as uh out here in the country you never know what you're gonna see but uh so as long as he has a lot of uh, tall grass and weeds and debris laying around you can pretty much bet you're gonna have snakes